I think I'm recording. Hi, it's rolled on, and um, I have been writing and reading and all kinds of stuff. So um, I decided to take advantage of one of my new mediums, which is uh, video, and um, put a face to all of the comments and questions that um, many of you have been posting today, especially. And um, I want to say thank you to everyone for your support and your kind words and um, the jokes and the stuff. And so, if you're seeing this and you're not one, and you're wondering what the heck is he talking about. Um, for those who have been following and those who know me personally, um, just have gone through a pretty uh, uh, well. It's just been a, a rough day. <laughs> Bottom line. Um, officially, I acknowledged um, go, going single again, and. Uh, that decision was made, um, you, I guess, you know, mutually, although it was, um, I took a little longer to accept it, I guess, on my Facebook, but, um, uh, so, I've been seeing, I, I, I was seeing someone for the last four or five months, and, um, has been a incredibly, um, transformational and, um, self-rewarding experience <clears throat> without going too, too much in detail. So um, we met and there was an instant connection and uh, for me and um, some past life regression memories of having shared time and space before in another lifetime and so on and so forth. So. Um, went through a process and basically the last uh, month has been one that has uh, completely challenged me in ways that I haven't been challenged before. Um, I <clears throat> The last relationship, serious relationship I was in was um, about four years ago and since that time I'd been doing a great deal of um, personal development and spiritual conscious and um, and awareness work. So, anywho, uh, was able to finally put some of that into practice much more quickly than I expected and on a level and with someone that was unlike anybody else I'd ever met. So, the gifts are perfect and um, although going through the natural patterns of the grieving process, that's what I've been doing. Um, acceptance, denial, uh, grief, frustration, anger, back to acceptance, surrender. And it has nothing to do than uh, anything than with me. So uh, tonight I wrote a letter to um, that special someone and it was a letter of closure for me, and um, so I just want to let everybody know I am fine. Everything is great. Um, I have received much information today that has supported and acknowledged exactly um, where I am is where I am supposed to be. Um, those of you who do know me know that uh, I am doing a lot of work within the realms of um, higher consciousness and and um, spiritual, um, personal spiritual awareness work. So, uh, from teaching classes and leading meditations to developing currently a couple of workshops around that issue. And through this weekend, um, so this is the first official announcement, uh, through the course of this past week and the events of this past weekend and recent realizations and self-awareness and awakenings that have come about, um, I am officially announcing the um, launch of a documentary project. 
on what it means to become and also be a spiritually conscious, personally um, aware individual in this day and age, the 21st century. And how we apply the, the laws and the values and, and, and the limitations even um, of what we're capable, capable of doing at any given time. So it, will, it ties into um, a, a couple of other things. My blog, which is www.on-common-ground.com. You can see it in my, over here to the left in my wall. And um, a book that's also being written on the journey of one person, namely me, uh, written in fiction form, actually, um, the story of a, a young man, a boy, that comes through and it starts on the other side and he comes through and goes through his life process and his awareness process and how it plays into the big picture. So, a um, couple of really great things coming up. Um, Kathy, thank you so much for the, um, uh, the, the astrology, let's see, what's this thing? The astrology, astrologyzone.com. Um, this is written by uh, an astrologer, Susan Mil Miller, and she's very popular, but here's what mine said, and I'll close with this. It said, Aquarius horoscope for August 2009. Aquarius, February 13th. So this is all for you Aquarians out there as well. This is your big month. The full moon lunar eclipse in Aquarius at 14 degrees will arrive on August 5th. What? Today, August 5th. This looks to be a red letter day for you. Because it is in your sign, it will affect you with double strength and will have the power to change the way you see yourself and present yourself to others. And I didn't read this until today, but I will tell you that that's been the process that I've been going through over the last 72 to uh, well, that's three days, three to four days, basically starting Thursday with a major event that shifted my consciousness and awareness um, deeply in myself and um, unveiled a great deal of um, stuff that I thought wasn't there anymore. So, and I can assure you it's not anymore. I went through a, through a death, you know, a death um, process on that and a rebirth process. Um, it goes on to say, you have been so busy growing, maturing, and evolving that you may have been hanging on to an outdated self-image and not giving yourself enough credit. True. If so, the eclipse will allow you to re revise how you see yourself and also make at least one important announcement. You got it. The documentary project, um, which came through on Friday after um, uh, a, a deep meditation and meeting with my guides and, um, and angels. Your lifestyle may change. True. To a certain extent. Mine, I'm talking about. You may meet someone who will become very important to you. Already have. Eclipses, and, and many, not just one I've, I've met, but this, this is definitely this month I have. Many. Um, eclipses also bring endings, so you may see someone to say goodbye to. And in that part, departure, you may feel the passage of time. So, um, for now, events from outside will, be, will begin to come in and change your world in ways you could not have anticipated. I guess that's true for most of us. What... That's what eclipses do, and while their, while their news always seems so random and sudden, you are fortunate in that this eclipse is very friendly, especially to Mars, which is now circulating your house of true love. How ironic. Uh, Mars will be working hard to boost your social life. I could always use that, and if you're single, you're in luck, for this eclipse could bring an introduction. Because this is a full moon, you will, notice, you will be noticed, and in the spotlight, well, I'm on my way to sing karaoke with a friend in just a moment. And this could be a tender and quite exciting time of your life. So, that being said, it is. And um, I want to thank everybody for your support. Um, know that there's going to be more uh, of this type of stuff. I'm just posting this to um, straight to Facebook. But there's going to be more stuff. Well, actually, I may not. I put, may put this on OCG TV. And that's a YouTube um, channel tied into OnCommonGround.com, which is a spiritual conscious and a um, uh, personal awakening site. I also have um, meetup.com slash soul circle, which is um, 
healing arts meditations and events. So anyways, all that's in the sideline there of my websites and links. And thank you all very much. I love you. And we'll see you soon. And um, hey, I like this. We'll do more of it. Bye.